there, and it, it'll be a beautiful day to do some gardening. Indeed, Angela Kelly's getting some fun ideas at the Gathered Earth in Appleton. Hi, Ange. Hi, Pete and Rachel. Good morning, everyone. I cannot express how gorgeous it is outside right now. The sun is just shining, and we are surrounded by beautiful, beautiful things here at the Gathered Earth at Lowney's Landscape Center. Take a look at some repurposing that they've done using a buggy as a planter, a bike. Look at the baskets on the side. And up here, we're not really sure what this is. We think it might be a, um, a scoop for ice fishing. Uh, she's planted some succulents in there. Um, this is Erica Smith, and she's so talented. You have some tips for um, repurposing planters, right? Yeah, um, people have gotten into the repurposing, the recycling, and they find that one thing that they absolutely love, but then they're too scared to plant it up for fear of it being destroyed after a season. So this particular one, we love the look of it, but we want it to last. So we've covered this, lined this in plastic. You can, if it's like a basket or something like that, you can line it in plastic and then, um, or put burlap in first, then line it in plastic mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And then that'll help, you know, help it last. But here we have a strainer, so we've got some good drainage and stuff here, right? Right, right. So on this one, we just put moss in the bottom because that's really all we need. Mm -hmm. We want to keep the drainage because this we're going to plant with succulents. Okay. Um, succulents can take a lot of, um, they can take dry conditions, mm -hmm. and if they sit in, um, if they sit in water too long, yeah. then they rot out, and you don't want that. Can I so take this one you out? You may. Yes, you may. Okay. So what we're doing is we're taking it out. We're just going to shake some of that dirt off the bottom. Let those, let those little roots, um, yeah, breathe there, and then we're just going to make a little spot for it. Put it on in, tuck it in. And the big thing with the succulents is the fact that, you know, you're mainly dealing with color in, or with just green because all the colors are the same, right. but just different variations of the green. Mm -hmm. But you're dealing with texture. Let's do some more. Let's have because obviously you can see how this would all come together. But look at more ideas here. Look at this old lunchbox. What would you do with this? Well, this one we're gonna. Play one up for sun, so we have the um, the Gerbera daisy, which I kind of like because it plays off of that real mannish looking uh, lunchbox. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put the put the little gerb in there, you know, so that we have a little uh, little uh, feminine flavor to it too. Mm -hmm. So and the thing you always need to remember too is about getting that height. If you feel like your planter is getting a little too low, you can always add um, other accents such as curly willow. We have a bunch of curly willow. If you want to oh, yeah. add height to your planter. We have curly willow that you can purchase. Um, one of the people that come in here all the time, they have it and they've got, gotten some to us. So you can put those in the planter and then it gives it a really cool vertical interest. And it kind of, even if you have the most common of plants in there, yeah, it I gives it a different it. look. I love it, I love it. And the possibilities are endless. Look at a child's little rain boot plant some pansies in there. Adorable. Thank you so much. Very welcome. Stick around. We're going to touch more on fairy gardens coming up. Back to you. Thanks, Ange.